Now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Katie Zuniga. Here's a look at the travel conditions across the Cascades. And if you take a look at that Sandy Am Pass, we are starting to see some activity. This is expected to increase in chances across the Cascades overnight tonight, early hours of tomorrow. And then we should begin to see some of that here by the early afternoon. Out at the airport is not looking as clear as it was earlier. We did start with mostly almost completely clear skies this morning. Now we're seeing clouds all across the region with those temperatures in those mid 30s. No wind right now, but we could begin to see that wind pick up as the system comes in. Nothing crazy, maybe 10 to 15 miles per hour with those winds coming more out of the north, which is the direction the system is moving in here through the northwest. Right now on that satellite radar image, you can see the beginning of scattered showers moving toward the west slopes of the Cascades, and this is only going to increase for us overnight tonight as we move from where we started today to where we should be by tomorrow, and then as that system passes through on Friday. Here's how this looks for us on our future track. And I want you to pay attention where the snow is coming from because it's an unlikely place that is going to get the most amount of snow, has the potential for the most amount of snow out of these next systems. Starting the clock here, you'll see that snow to the northwest begins to come down along the Cascades. As we go through the morning, it stretches down. We see some on the east slopes and the higher elevations. Here we are seeing most of the snowfall in the morning in the Warm Springs and Madras area. Now definitely keep your eye on all of Central Oregon, but if you watch the Warm Springs area as the snow begins to build down into the higher elevations, it does not change. And you look here, we see snow in Warm Springs and rain and mixed showers in Lapine. Still seeing that snow through the Warm Springs area. Things clear to our southeast, things clear in Lapine, Sun River, some scattered snow showers across and some mixed showers across the east slopes. Still seeing snow. It's not until Thursday night, tomorrow night, that we even see a tiny break here on our model forecast. And even then, it does not last long, and you're seeing snow in the rest of the region all the way through Friday afternoon into Friday evening. Then it stretches out again. It was a very small break in that area. Here's what this means for snow accumulation. You will see the largest totals in the Warm Spring, Madras, and the Sisters area. The rest of Central Oregon has a possibility for accumulation. Just not seeing too much there. And yes, we are looking at a potential of up to 30 inches along the Sandy Ann Pass, easily looking at two feet by the time we reach Saturday. But the chance for snow is actually staying with us all the way through till the start of next week. Here's where our temperatures are. Another change for us. Nice and warm today, above average in those low 50s. We stay warm overnight tonight with our temperatures right at or just below average, looking at those mid to upper 20s. This is the temperature we're going to see during the day later in the week. Tomorrow is the beginning of that descent with our temperatures back into the 30s. There we go. Warm Springs has the potential to be the warmest at 41 degrees. Looking ahead on the seven day, here's that chance for rain, snow, mostly snow all the way through Saturday. Sunday, we see another about 20 to 30 percent chance. And then Monday, we have an opportunity for a rain snow mix. 60 percent chance temperatures back at average.